Go rising, go rising, go rising, my beautiful people. Good afternoon, good evening. Depends on what time you see this, right? This is going to be an energy reading for Gemini. If you are a gem, this energy reading is for you, beloved. All right, let me show this one more time. I'm going to dive straight in. I ask my higher self, the most high, and the ascended masses to help me in this intuitive reading. All right, on the bottom of the deck, we have unfinished business. Okay, it's not over patterns back and forth baggage. Okay, so someone feels like you have you guys have unfinished business. Roses are significant. The color green is significant. The color red is significant. Okay, we have family, generations, children, ancestors, origin. Okay, this could be someone you have a family with, someone you someone in your family. Okay. Let's see. I'm also hearing there's an ancestor who has unfinished business. An ancestor who has unfinished business. Something about a generational curse being broken. Let's see. For Gemini, we have a faded meeting, meant to be destiny predetermined encounter. Okay. It was definitely fated for you to meet someone. I'm also getting like it was fated or destined for you to break this generational curse or maybe a child of yours. Let's see. We have secret crush, admire, attraction, suitor, butterflies. This could be a love child for some, someone you were fated to meet. Someone who was secretly crushing on you. Or this could be someone coming in. There could be someone coming in who's secretly crushing on you. Someone who you're destined to meet. You may be creating or building a family with this person. I don't know if you guys came across each other. Maybe crossed paths. But they didn't really kick anything off. This person can still be secretly crushing on you. Feeling like you guys have unfinished business at the bottom of the day. Date. Okay, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. So this person might want to link up, date you, take you out. Okay. This is someone who's attracted to you, someone who you're fated or destined to meet. Someone who has unfinished business. Now for some, I'm getting, um, so I'm getting a few messages, y'all. I'm getting an ancestor who wants to help you break some type of generational curse. And it could be someone that you're fated or destined to meet. And you maybe have, will have a love child. Okay. And this, it may be this child or you creating this, building this family is going to break some type of generational curse. That's significant. But for sure, there's someone that you cross paths with that you've met. Someone who feels like y'all have unfinished business. Or spirit is saying that you have unfinished business with. Three, two, one on the timestamp. As I say that. This is someone who you're possibly meant to create a family with. Okay. We're crossroads here. Behind here. Okay. Choices, multiple options, turning point, and decision. I told you y'all crossed paths. Crossroads is significant. Something about y'all crossing paths. Okay. But you're going to have a choice to make. Okay, and for some, it may be a, a multiple choice situation. Okay. Someone may be indecisive about making some type of choice, but we have change behind there. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, um, cycles. There's some type of change that's about to happen. Okay. The color purple could be significant. Finances is behind there. There could be some changes in finances. Someone could be wanting to make a change with their finances. Can be at a crossroads on whether or not they should be dating because of financial issues, possibly. Money problems, money issues. This person could have maybe a family that they support. Okay. The sun card and the three of cups as I split the deck for Gemini. That's Cancer and Leo energy. So I feel like something's going to be illuminated to you. 
possibly about a friendship, a connection, a reconciliation. Okay. The three of cups can also be a celebration. Okay. But let's see. For gems. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, something is balancing out. Trust in um, divine timing. Trust the divine. Okay. Because I'm seeing a choice in love, Gemini. Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Aries, and Scorpio energy with the tower card behind there. So I feel like the divine is orchestrating something for you when it comes to your love life. And you're going to have a choice to make when it comes to your love life. There's going to be a tower moment, unexpected change. But I feel like it's going to be good change, good change to your love life. Okay, so let's see. For Gemini, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, it came out in a challenging position. So I'm seeing a new beginning and love coming in, but you have to be open to it. You have to keep that heart chakra open. Okay. Possibly even give yourself a bit more love, pour more into self. Okay, but I'm seeing um, new feelings. Now this could be, um, again, you know, self-love for sure. Okay, a new friendship that can grow into something more. Okay. Or someone's heart is starting to become more fonder for someone. Okay. Someone could have been holding back, suppressing. Okay. We have the Empress card here. Divine feminine energy. When it comes to the, the, the feelings that they have for an Empress. So someone could have been holding back how they felt about an Empress energy. Okay. A King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who has love for an empress. This can be, I seen 7 Eleven on timestamp. This could be a mother. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a mature woman, an older woman. Uh, um, doesn't have to be that either. Just someone who, uh, who embodies all of the queens in the deck. So she's smart, she's intuitive, she's um, fair, she's honest, she's attractive, she's grounded, she's earthy, she's, you know, all the queens. It's someone seeing someone for the, as an empress energy, someone who heart is growing fonder for this individual, someone is in love with this empress, or this empress is in love with this king of cups. Take it how it resonates, okay? We have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. This could be someone um that you work with work and collab with you guys can share common goals we have the six of wands here leo energy i'm also seeing victory and success here so if you guys are working on something that's going to be successful That's what I'm seeing. Or whoever this masculine is, they're very successful at the work that they do. This is someone confident in the work that they do. Confident in possibly how they feel. We have the Six of Cups, Scorpio Energy. This is someone who's nostalgic. This is someone who's nostalgic. I feel like this is someone with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. That's the Seven of Cups. Someone who possibly fantasizes about you. This can be someone who has other options that they can give this love offer to, but I feel like you're kind of where their heart is. They're emotionally invested in this empress. Someone who they may even have some, some memories that they share. We have the Ten of Swords here, Gemini energy. But someone could have betrayed someone in the past, stabbed them in the back. Left someone feeling wounded with the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This could have affected someone's confidence. This could have even affected someone in the confidence in the work that they do. And this is someone who's normally very confident in the work that they do. So, because this is someone who I feel like pours their heart into the things that they love, you know? 
and that includes this empress if this is someone that they love they want to you know it's kind of given like they want to pour their heart out to her oh that's so romantic that's cute <laughs> i like this energy for y'all gems okay but this is someone who put, pours their heart into the work they do they love the work they do. That's why they come out successful in what they what they do, because they love the work that they do. They're very passionate, possibly too, about the work that they do. They're making progress. They're moving forward. This is someone who's who's triumphant. They they're they're having victory and success in the work that they do because they pour their heart into it. And I feel like whatever they pour their heart into, they have victory and success in. So they know if they work and collab with you. Empress energy depends on who's watching this. Whether this is the Empress or this masculine, I feel like. This person is going to be fully invested emotionally for sure. But I'm seeing a betrayal here in the past. Someone could have gotten stabbed in the back. Okay, betrayed. When it comes to love, this could have felt had someone feeling really wounded. Um, maybe lacking confidence. This person could have worked and collabed with people that they loved in the past before, and they, these people could have betrayed them. This could be a group of people, because the Ten of Swords is like a group. Family, community, friends, whatever. And it could have left this person a bit wounded, like in confidence, possibly even in their work. For gems, we have the Five of Cups here. Scorpio energy. This is someone who it's sad disappointed about some some things that has left them wounded this is someone who wants to work and collab with you but i feel like in order to have success they have to finish grieving something whatever this betrayal is that left them wounded yeah they need to release with the eight of cups pisces energy Release something of the past, a betrayal. This is someone who is in the process possibly of releasing something of the past, a betrayal. Something that left them feeling really wounded, lacking confidence when it comes to love. Because this is someone who possibly poured their love into someone in the past who betrayed them. And working and collabing with this person left this person feeling wounded. They're still grieving, whatever this is. But I feel like they, they are going to have victory and success when it comes to releasing this moving forward. For Gemini, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like... Um, Whoever this is, they come off. They could be a single energy, someone independent, successful. Again, like this is someone who is victorious in the work that they do because they pour their they pour their love into the work that they do. But I feel like there's something about this betrayal or this wounded energy that they're holding back. And remember, I told y'all 1313 on a timestamp that this is someone who was suppressing something, suppressing their emotions about something. It may not be about this empress. It could be about something that happened them, to them in the past. Now, there could have been an empress who betrayed them in the past. Okay, take it how it resonates. Baby mother, mother figure. Um, or again, just an empress energy, a mature woman, whatever. But they could have poured their heart out into a empress in the past okay and this could have left them wounded and feeling betrayed and i feel like this is something that someone holds back they suppress a bit now maybe this is this is something that's resurfacing this could be emotions that's resurfacing but i feel like it's to get someone to understand that they're suppressing or holding back this pain and whatever this pain is that they've been holding back it's been affecting them mentally it's been affecting them spiritually like their energy is it has them feeling wounded and betrayed and this is someone who's very loving they're very loving this is someone who needs to go ahead and grieve whatever this is that they've been suppressing and if they if these are feelings that are resurfacing then they need to grieve these emotions release them so that they can feel more like they're in this abundant energy if that makes sense this is someone who possibly needs to nurture um themselves a bit more their emotions let's see we have the will of fortune i'm seeing change though something fortunate is going to happen you go you guys were fated or destined to meet someone as well maybe you met someone in in the in the okay maybe you met someone around the time that they were still grieving some things from a betrayal because i'm getting that too 
this person could have saw you and it triggered all these newfound emotions but there were things that this person possibly was suppressing and holding back because there were things that this person was dealing with from their past that they were nostalgic about a betrayal that was leaving them feeling wounded this is someone who still needed to grieve release and even though they come off as this it's kind of like they're masking a little bit like they come off as this accomplished person which they are i'm not even going to say that's a mask because that's really what they are they're they're accomplished energy But deep down inside, they're feeling wounded because of some type of betrayal in the past that affected them emotionally. But I'm seeing things turn around in your favor, in this person's favor, okay? We have the Page of Pentacles here. Someone wants to give you like a, a small token of appreciation or an offer. I feel like this is an opportunity that can grow into something more. This is someone who's been watching you with the Page of Swords. Okay, a soulmate, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer energy here. There could have been some type of conflict or competition or arguments or fighting or tension somewhere. So someone changed direction, their focus for gems. We got the Page of Wands in reverse. Someone could have heard bad news. When it came to an opportunity, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck with the sun card. This could be getting exposed or illuminated to someone. Something may be illuminated to someone about a new passion in the beginning. Gemini energy, fire energy. Someone could have been in their head stuck in a self-imposed mental imprisonment about a new passion in the beginning. This could be getting illuminated or exposed. Someone could have wanted to try to possibly turn things around, build something, start it off with a small offer. Someone could have turned the offer down and it could be illuminated to someone that this was a new passion in the beginning that someone could have had with another, but someone was stuck in their head about something else. Someone could have done a sex magic on someone too. This could be getting exposed. This could have had someone in their head maybe confused about the offers. I'm seeing um, earth sign, earth energy, and fire energy towards Virgo Capricorn, Aries Leo Sage. These could have been offers that this person gotten. I'm assuming this masculine, whoever the single energy is, or it could be this empress. These could be younger energies. That possibly gave someone offers. Someone could have turned someone down. Possibly one was about sex. Someone was really superficial. Maybe only wanted sex. One of the new passion the beginning just wanted sex was in their head about that. That could have gotten exposed to the single energy. This person could have turned that person down, realizing that this person wanted sex. Then, then, then it's this other person. I don't know if they took this offer or not. But I feel compelled to say, I feel like someone's looking at this, it could be a small offer, but something that could grow into something maybe more, more stable. Three of Swords. But there's some type of pain, some type of heartbreak that I feel like is holding somebody back and they're gonna receive the bitter truth. I feel like some there's gonna be some type of feelings because we start off with the Ace of Cups and we're ending with this um, Three of Swords. I feel like Someone went through something that was very um, heartbreaking. And they're going to realize possibly some type of bitter truth. Because I'm getting this energy of someone has feelings that are resurfacing. Something that they've been repressing, holding back, is resurfacing. Because maybe they they found someone that they, they see their value. They see them. Like they see their worth. And this is someone who wants to love someone. They want to work and collab with someone. Have victory and success in love. And I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Someone's gonna get that. This is this is what someone's manifesting. They're gonna achieve that. But I feel like deep down, there are some things that this person still needs to heal from, from the past. And this could be past life, like lives from past, because I was getting to y'all. Remember, in the beginning, I told y'all, Gemini, that there is a past over loved one who wants to help someone break some type of generational curse. And it has something to do with building up a family. Now, this could be uplifting the family. This can be actually building a healthy family dynamic. 
some of the sort because that's kind of what I'm getting something healthy because this masculine was working and collabing with someone who they seen their worth possibly in the past but this person somehow betrayed them or stabbed them in the back now this could be family at or this person that they built the family with take it how it resonates but I feel like it made this person feel really wounded and it affected them in more ways than they really know and they have to heal these things that's why these emotions are resurfacing because they have to heal whatever this energy is that made them feel betrayed, made them feel wounded in order to work and collab with someone and have a successful love dynamic. This person has to properly grieve and release because this person is a very abundant energy. This is someone who is accomplished. But in order to turn things around in their favor, I feel like they need to possibly commit more to nurturing themselves pouring more love into themselves healing heartbreak because I feel like if they don't heal from the heartbreak they're going to receive bad news when it comes to this offer because they may miss this offer because it may look small because this is someone who's trying to start I feel like take their time and level up in a relationship take their time and it may come off small and someone may be looking for something grandiose which it could possibly become that but you have to have this is like a mustard seed being planted, an opportunity for something to grow into something solid because it's already loved there. And someone pour, pours a lot of love into whatever they work and collab with, whether that's their job, put into a family, whatever. They pour their heart into it. But this is someone who still needs to heal. They need to heal. Maybe you, you crossing paths with you, Gemini, or crack this person open. And yeah, you know, they have all these newfound emotions for you, but then they have these emotions that they've been suppressing, hurt that they've been suppressing that they still need to heal from. But I feel like whoever this is, they're gonna make a return. This is a past life soulmate. This is someone who sees, they see the connection that you guys share. There are some things that they have to work through emotion wise mental wise spiritually wise this is a wounded warrior they've been through the ringer okay at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands but whoever this is they're going to pursue what it is that they want okay this is someone who wants a balanced connection something stable unity a union they want marriage this is what this person is pursuing something that's balanced is going to be illuminated to you exposed or someone sees you as someone very peaceful very positive you know, someone that they could have a happy um, life with. This is someone who wants to start a new love and passion and beginning. Someone could be thinking about this a lot, overthinking it, about um, investing in this, if they should, if they shouldn't. Um, but I see someone getting a mental calm. This is someone, again, who's been watching you, who looks at you as a soulmate. Queen of Cups. We got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. These are two very loving individuals. Gemini. These are two people who love each other. That's what I'm seeing. I like this energy. Or two very loving individuals who's going to, you know, be able to emotionally express how they feel in a connection, be open. Okay, someone may have trust issues because of a betrayal. I'm kind of getting that too. Um, so their guard might be up. Okay, gems. But look, it's healthy commitment here. I feel like that's what y'all are. That's what y'all manifest, and that's what's coming in. Twenty three thirty two on a timestamp. So yeah, give gratitude. It's an abundant attitude, okay? Because I feel like someone is secretly crushing on you. This is someone who wants a healthy commitment, and they're in the process of healing. And I feel like once they get to this space where they get through these emotions that they've been suppressing, grieve whatever they were grieving properly, then. Everything will be, everything will be all good. Yeah. On the top of the deck, we got the Z. Z. The letter Z can be significant. I can pick it up. Okay. Some of y'all may need to clear your mind and meditate. Okay. Give your mind a break. Okay. Because y'all have a love opportunity coming in. Okay. I just seen on the rise to success. So someone's definitely gonna have victory and success. Okay, let's see. We have death. Someone could be grieving a death. Now this could be a family member that passed away. Again, someone needed to grieve something, some type of betrayal that left them wounded. So it could be a death. Someone of their past could have passed away. That could have been the bad news that someone received. Let's see. 
for Gemini. We have living the fast life. Okay, someone's releasing the karmic. Okay. Now this could be karmic energy within themselves. With living the fast life. This could be someone who lived the fast life at one point. They want to slow down a bit. Okay. We have dark skin. Someone could be dark skin. Going out on a date. Dating. Y'all will be going out on a date. Okay, that came out twice. Aquarius, Scorpio energy could be significant. For Gemini, Virgo energy could be significant. We have single. Okay, I'm seeing painful ending. So there could have been, someone could have passed away or death can be just an ending. The death card, I'm seeing the death card. It could be Scorpio energy. Um, that could be an ending. Endings bring new beginnings. Death card brings transformation. It brings change. So you take it how it resonates because with a painful ending here, again, I told y'all somebody got betrayed and this could have brought some type of transformation, some type of change in someone. Okay. Let's see. We have glow up. Okay. Someone's going through a glow up. Let's see. For GM spirit, what does Gemini need to know? We got focus on this. Focus on yourself. Self love, self care. Okay, the letter T can be significant. Someone could have self sabotaged a connection. This person could still be healing from someone sabotaging a connection. Okay. Let's see. Leo energy could be significant. We have, you're doing your shadow work. Okay, so this could be you. You could be doing your shadow work, focus on your shadow work, focusing on self-love, self-care. Okay, you're single, possibly dating. You're going through a glow up. Okay, but we have move it. You're procrastinating. There's something that you could be procrastinating on. Okay. The letter G can be significant. The letter K can be significant. Anything else for Gemini spirit? What does Gemini need to know? A feminine energy can be significant. Okay. The letter B. Someone can have piercings and tattoos. Okay. You've waited long enough. All right. Those are the messages for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. And I hope that resonates. I hope that helped.